the Graymore Friars Monastery, is located on Atonement Mountain near Garrison, New York. Adjacent to this famous monastery, one sees St. Christopher's Inn. Homeless men from all walks of life come to this famous inn. These men are fed and sheltered by the Graymore Friars, and no distinction is ever made of race, creed, or color. You are invited to listen to another chapter of the dramatized story, The Life of Christ, brought to you transcribed each week by the Graymore Friars, who offer this series with a prayerful hope that this vivid portrayal of the life of Christ will help to awaken in you a deeper personal love of God and a firm determination to strive to prove that love in your daily life. Now, Chapter 14, The Storm at Sea. Give ear, O my people, to my doctrine. Incline thy ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth to utter parables. I will reveal the secrets of long ago. What we have heard and known, and those things which our fathers have told us, we will not hide from their children. We will tell to the coming generation the praises of the Lord and his might and the wonders he has done. And Jesus continue to speak to them in parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men were asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the blade sprang up and brought forth fruit, then the weeds appeared as well. And the servants of the householder came and said to him, Sir, didst thou not sow good seed in thy field? How then does it have weeds? He said to them, An enemy has done this. And the servant said to him, Wilt thou have us go and gather them up? No, he said, lest in gathering the weeds you root up the wheat along with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time I will say to the reapers, Gather up the weeds first, and bind them in bundles to burn. But gather the wheat into my barn. Master, explain to us this parable. He who sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed, the sons of the kingdom. The weeds, the sons of the wicked one. And the enemy who sowed them is the devil. But the harvest is the end of the world. And reapers are the angels. Therefore, just as the weeds are gathered up and burnt with fire... So will it be at the end of the world. The Son of Man will send forth his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all scandals and those who work iniquity, and cast them into the furnace of fire, where there will be the weeping and the gnashing of teeth. Then the just will shine forth like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Have you understood all these things? Yes, we yes, yes, yes. understood. So then, every scribe instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings forth from his storeroom things new and old. To what shall we liken the kingdom of God? It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seed upon the earth. Yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes larger than any herb and puts out great branches so that the birds of the air can dwell in its shade.
with these words, Jesus completed the parables to his disciples as evening came to end a day of heartbreak. But a brief time before, he had given the people the Sermon on the Mount and departed on a tour of Galilee. On his return, he found some of his followers anxious to seize him because they thought him mad, and the Pharisees charging him with being in league with the devil, and the crowds pressing in so closely his mother could not speak with him. And now it was growing dark, and still the people besieged his house and clamored for him. They come seeking thee, Master. Let us cross over to the other side of the lake. Yes, Master. There we can be alone with you. James, Andrew, run ahead and make the boat ready. We'll follow in a few minutes. very tired. I've fixed a cushion here in the stern. Won't you lie down? Thank you, Simon. Sleep if you can. We'll awaken you when we reach the shore. Course south by east, Andrew. Steer for the valley of Jurata. We were about to sink. Oh, you of little faith. Are you still without faith? Master. Where is your faith? To oars. We must row to reach Daraza by morning. What man is it? Even the sea obeys. And the winds. Who then is this? I who? Get back where you belong with the others. Hello! You on the cliff! What's that? Who calls? Capernaum during the night. What, during the storm? Yes. I can't believe it. Our fishermen all turned back when the storm struck. Yet you say you came all the way from Capernaum. That is right. You're lucky. What brings you to Carossa? We seek quiet. Is there a path leading to the cliff? Yes, to your right. You go by the tombs. Oh, yes, I see it now. We're coming up. No, no, wait. Don't take the path. Why not? There's a man possessed by an evil spirit who lurks in the tombs. He's broken his chains. He wanders about naked. He has the strength of ten. He'll tear you to pieces. Go back, Mr. Stormont. 
Go back, go back. There he is. He's coming your way. Master, look. Get up. Defend yourself. He'll get you. Master, run. He's coming straight at you. What have I to do with thee, Jesus, son of the most high God? Go out of this man. Thou unclean spirit. I adjure thee, by God, do not torment me. Hast thou come here to torment us before the time? What is thy name? Legion, for we are men. What's happened? He seems all right again. Wait. The master is questioning him. We entreat you, Jesus, son of the most high God. Don't command us to go back to the abyss. Let us stay on earth. This is Jesus, of whom we've heard so much? Yes, Master, don't listen to them. Send them away, to the fire. We beg you, Lord. There's a herd of swine feeding on the heights. Command us to leave this man, if you will. But let us go to the swine. So be it done. What's this? I'm responsible to see that no harm comes to the swine. The master commands the unclean spirits to leave this man. And gives them permission to enter the swine. He can do this thing. What's that? What's happened to the swine? Look, they're running up to the cliff. Help me, we must stop them. There's nothing we can do. They're going over the cliff into the sea. They're falling into the water. They sink like rocks. What can I say to the elders? Two thousand swine gone. They'll hear about this. The story is this, Seth. I swear it's the truth. One moment the herd was grazing peacefully. The next they began to squeal and run about in circles. Then suddenly, as one beast, they ran to the cliff and fell into the sea. It was a terrible thing to watch. Those ahead tried to stop, but the onrush of the others sent them over. And where were you at the time? With some men from Capharnaum. I warned them against the man with the evil spirits. Even as I did, he appeared. He rushed at them. But then a strange thing happened. What was that? He fell down in front of their leader and crawled to his feet and did not try to harm him. What? Who was this man? Jesus of Nazareth. You are sure of this? There can be no mistake. He commanded the evil spirits to leave the man. And they obeyed at once. And the man was well. He then gave the spirits permission to enter the swine. That's when they bolted for the cliff. Come, we must investigate this story at once. Are you sure of the year, Simon? Yes. Yes, 785 by the Roman calendar. Then I've been possessed by the devil for three years. The last I remember was the day I... I came home from the fields and found my wife and children dead from the plague. And yet what you say must be true. My beard. I always kept it trimmed. Now it's almost to my waist. You were mad. You lived in those tombs. Who is he at whose feet I knelt? Jesus of Nazareth. He has made you well. Here comes the swineherd with others from the village. No doubt they can tell you more about what's happened to you. But that's Seth. I know him. Seth! Seth! Why, he's well. He knows us. Come, have no fear. The evil has been driven from him. I am Alexander, magnate of the village. I am Simon from Capernaum. Is it true Jesus is here? Over there. The man in the center. Will you tell these people what happened to the swine? They cannot believe me when I say the evil spirits drove them over the cliff. It is the truth. No, no, be calm. Simon, I... I wish to speak to Jesus. Come. 
We have heard of your leader, of miraculous cures and many wonders. Are these stories true? Yes. I can tell you of things he has done which are beyond belief and understanding. Have you come here to preach to our people? No. We came to get away from the crowds that besiege him. Master, this is Alexander, a magnate of the village. He would speak to you. What would you have of me? Master, we are greatly honored that you should visit our shores. We are greatly impressed by what we have heard this morning, but we are fearful, too. We don't wish to seem ungrateful or unfriendly, but we are not Jews. We are of Greek ancestry, firm in our beliefs and our customs. There is little to be gained for your religion in this section, and your presence will be a source of dissension and will provoke trouble for yourself and followers and for us. No. No, you must not send him away. Rather beg him to stay. I can understand your wish that he stay, but we must consider the welfare of all our people. But he cured me. If not for him, I would still... Such powers as Jesus commands are unknown to us. They do not belong rightfully to man, but to God. Unwisely used, the consequences can be terrible beyond contemplation. Are you saying he should not have cured me? Two thousand swine was the cost to us of your cure. Yes, yes. Though we cannot measure the value of man against animals, the destruction of so many is a case in point. Could the time not come when the sacrifice for the doctrines Jesus preaches will be men instead of swine? We beg of you, Master, don't judge us too harshly if we who believe in moderation in all things request you to return to Kefarnam. Son, we shall return. Prepare the boat. We are grateful for your decision. In parting, let me say, I do not envy you and your great gift. Why say you thus? Long ago, Socrates said, Nothing great enters into a man without its curse. Master, Andrew is signaling. The boat is ready. Lord, Lord, what of me? Let me come with you. I shall be your servant. I will serve you with my life. Go home to thy relatives and tell them all that the Lord has done for thee. And how he has had mercy on thee. I will obey you in all things. I shall go about in the Decapolis and tell them of thy great mercy. Castor! Up sail! Can all this we've seen today be true? We have eyes to see. A man is well again, and the sea is covered with our dead swine. Could the God of the Jews have sent this man to us? They claim theirs to be the one true God of the universe. Yes, that is their belief. But what are we to believe after this? I don't know. I'm greatly puzzled. Did we do right in sending him away? Yes, yes, yes. yes. No, but our swine, what about them? Consider them. them. Let me tell you what the Lord has done for me. Listen. Listen when I tell you how the Lord has had mercy on me. You knew me once when I worked my farm. You chained me that I might not harm you and myself. You ran from me out of fear. Three years I lived like an animal. And then... Suddenly, I was well. I awakened at his feet. I was naked, my body beaten and bruised. But my soul and mind were clean. Think not you have traded a demoniac for a herd of swine. For I shall repay you manifold. For today, you have seen God's great mercy. And I will tell it throughout the whole land. North 
by west, across the Sea of Galilee, Jesus and his disciples sailed, on past the middle of the sea, on toward the spot where but the night before the waves engulfed the small boat. And they were reminded of calm, reproachful words heard above the dying wind. Are you still without faith? Where is your faith? And they looked not at each other, but turned their eyes inward to seek the answer to his question. They came to Capernaum, and the crowd, seeing the boat from afar, cried out their joy at the return of Jesus. But across the Sea of Galilee, he who was a demoniac stood among the crowds and testified to the great things the Lord had done. What is it? The demoniac's come back. He's cured. Evil spirits have left him. Look well upon me and remember what I was for three years. Now I can show myself to men and communicate with them. By command of him who cured me, Jesus of Nazareth, I come before you an example for all to see. The living example of the Lord's mercy to man. Thus at Gerasa, he began doing the bidding of Jesus. And then he moved on to Hippos, to Gadara, to Pella. And the evil spirits were driven from me and entered the herd of swine who were destroyed. But one man was saved, myself. I come as a witness to the great things the Lord has done. People of Philadelphia... Beyond the Sea of Galilee is one of whom all have heard, and his name is Jesus of Nazareth. He came to us, and we turned him away. Only a few hours he spent with us, but what he did will never be forgotten. Let us pray that he will return someday, for he has the power to destroy evil. I bear witness to that. For I was mad for three years, and he cured me at a word. If he can save one man, he can save others. He can save us all. For he speaks as one who understands and delivers God's great mercy. The people of the half-pagan land beyond Jordan and Galilee listened to the former demoniac and were stirred by his words, some to doubt, some to fear, and some with the desire to believe. But none to whom he spoke was left untouched or indifferent. And he was like the sower in the parable who came sowing the word of God. The kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed which a man took and sowed in his field. This is the smallest of all seeds, but when it grows up it is larger than any herb and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and dwell in its branches. Give ear, O my people, to my doctrine. Incline thy ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth to utter parables. I will reveal the secrets of long ago. What we have heard and known, and those things which our fathers have told us, we will not hide from their children. We will tell to the coming generation the praises of the Lord, and his might, and the wonders he has done. Thank <laughs> you.